Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make magnetic invitations and save the date cards using the Cricut Print and Cut feature. For this project, you will need a color printer, a Cricut machine, and printable magnetic pages. I am using a Stone City printable magnetic pages. They come in glossy and matte finish. I will link all the supplies used in this tutorial in the video description down below. These ones are some examples of invitation designs that can be printed on printable magnetic pages. I will open a new canvas to show you the process. These are the designs that I will use to design the invitations. First, you have to decide the shape and size you wish to make them. For example, you can make them square, round, rectangular, etc. I will be making two rectangular designs with oval corners. Go to shapes and insert a square or a rectangle. I'm going to insert a square. I'm going to click on the lock to unlock it and I'm going to resize it. This rectangle is going to be 7 by 5 inches. First, we're going to work on the background of the invitation. You can add color, a pattern, a photo, or other designs. I'm sure you already know this, but first I'm going to show you how to add color. Go to Operations, click on the color square, and you're going to see the color palette. If you cannot find the color that you wish to add, click on Advance, and here you can mix your color. You can add the color of your choice. Now I will show you how to add background with pattern. There are two ways to do this process. The first one is by adding a background using Cricut Gallery. Select the rectangle, Go to Operation and instead of Basic Cut, you're going to select Print then Cut. Now click on the color square and instead of color, you're going to select Pattern. And here is the list. Scroll down to find the one of your liking and click on it. Now the rectangle already has a background with the sign. To resize the pattern, click on Edit Pattern and here you will be able to resize it. When finished, close the window. And this is the first way to add background. Now I'm going to show you the other way to add background. This one is perfect if you wish to use a specific background. Upload that background to the Cricut Canvas. I have already uploaded this one. I will resize it and I'm going to place it under the rectangle. Now I'm going to select both and I'm going to click on Slice. Select the layers you don't need and erase them. And here is the rectangle with a different background. As you can see, both ways are very easy. Now to add a picture is the same process, but I will show you anyways. Select your picture and resize it. Place it under the rectangle. Select both and click on Slice. Now remove the layers you don't need and ready. Now with this one, I'm going to create an invitation using individual designs. I'm going to use this fairy, the flowers and the butterflies.
Select the rectangle, go to Arrange and send it to the back. Place the image on top and resize them to your liking. Add as many images as you wish to form the design. If you wish to use these images, I'm going to link them in the video description below. Now that I already showed you how to add design or background, I'm going to show you how to add text. Click on the T and start typing on the canvas. I'm going to place it on top and I'm going to change the font. Go to fonts and if you pay the membership, click on Cricut, but if you don't, click on system and there you're going to see the list of the fonts that you have downloaded on your computer. Scroll down until you find the one of your liking. I already know the name of the font that I'm going to be using so I'm just going to type it. This font is called Leslie and it is from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link all the fonts that I am using in the video description down below. I'm going to resize it to fit in the rectangle and like this I'm going to keep on adding the information. Now I'm going to select the text and I'm going to change the color. Now this one is almost ready to be printed and cut. I'm going to add text to the next one. Now they are both ready to be printed and cut. Select the first one, then click on flatten. This is a very important step. Now I'm going to select the other one and I'm going to do the same process. Click on flatten. Since these cards are seven by five inches, it will only print one on each letter size page. But if you resize it a little, we will be able to print two on each page. Aligned one on top of the other one Select both, go to align and align them center horizontally. Keep them selected, click on the lock to lock it and change the height to 9.25 inches. Select them again and click on attach. Now we're going to be able to print two on each letter size page. Now go to make it, make sure it's on letter size. As you can see, it's going to print two on one page. Now click on continue, send to printer, select the printer that you're going to use. Now select the number of copies you wish to print, select bleed, and select use system dialog. Now click on print and here select the printer again and then click on preferences. Here you're going to select photo printing and here on paper type you're going to select either glossy photo paper or matte photo paper. I'm going to select glossy. Now on quality, you're going to select high. Make sure it's on letter size, click OK, then print. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to be using Stone City printable magnetic pages. And these ones are the glossy ones. I'm going to link them in the video description down below.
Now we're going to select the material that we are going to cut. If you don't see it on your favorite, click on Browse All Materials. Type the name of the material. In this case, uh, Magnetic Printable Pages. Select it. And if you wish to add it to your favorite, click on the flag. And now it's going to be on your favorite. Close the window. As you can see, it's right here. Now select it. And let's go to the machine. And here they are, aren't they pretty? You can make invitations for kids' birthday parties, baby announcements, save the date cards, etc. Remember to check the description down below, since there I'm going to link all the materials used in this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.